Gardner, Montana is a town with a year-round population of 750 people. Gardner is located on either side of the Yellowstone River as it flows northwest out of Yellowstone National Park. The economy of Gardner is dominated by tourism. Most residents work for the National Park Service or for Zantera, the company that runs all the concessions within the park, or they work for the hospitality industry within the town itself. Wildlife viewing, hiking, hunting, river floating, and fly fishing are the mainstays of Gardner. Gardner's source water has elevated levels of arsenic that originate in the hydrothermal area of Yellowstone Park, just upstream from town. The raw water averages 28 parts per billion of arsenic. My name's Ron Shorter. I'm the manager of the Gardner Park County Water and Sewer District. Uh, I've been the manager for the past 20 years. Um, uh, Gardner is a, uh, a small community at the north entrance of Yellowstone National Park. And um, uh, we have approximately 420 service connections. We have two sources of water. Um, one are two wells that we have out by the airport along the river, and the other is a, uh, a spring. And both of the sources are on the north end of town. Our winter flows average roughly 120,000 gallons of water per day. Um, our summer flows jump up to over half a million gallons a day. Um, we have 750 year-round residents in Gardner, uh, but during the summer months we have well over 400,000 people um, travel through the north entrance to Yellowstone Park here. Uh, we also have a lot of seasonal employees and uh, there are several um, uh, bunkhouse uh, type uh, living quarters for employees that are located on our system. Yeah, we have three storage tanks. Um, our main storage tank is located at the spring and uh, that holds 300,000 gallons of water. So we have a total of 650,000 gallons of storage. I was very fortunate uh, I, I had been working with, with my engineer for the past 10 years correcting some of the other problems that we had with our hydraulics and whatnot uh, through town. And um, he, uh, he was very up on the up and coming uh, arsenic regulation. And uh, he he suggested that we have him do an arsenic study because uh, he, he could see that, that we were definitely a candidate to, to have to treat for our, for our arsenic. Um, and our board, being a very forward-thinking, uh, progressive board, wanted to head this problem off. Uh, and agreed to doing the arsenic study in the late 1990s. And after our engineer completed his study, uh, he had, which he had taken uh, a look at all the best available technologies, uh, including um, conventional treatment with microfiltration, activated alumina, uh, lime softening, um, reverse osmosis, um, point of use devices. Um, we also looked at the do nothing option. We did pilot testing and um, uh, at the point that we decided to do pilot testing we had already determined that we were going to go with the adsorption process of uh, granular ferric oxide. Uh, we, uh, there were only a couple of different medias available at the time, one of which was a um, U.S. filter had granular ferric 
hydroxide and Severn Trent which have granular ferric oxide. Yes, we set up the two pilot units right in our, our, um, our pumping station uh, for the wells and uh, we ran the flows at approximately half a gallon per minute for six months and, uh, and that was continuous and uh, uh, my recommendations for anyone that's uh, that is go going to set up a pilot study is to make sure that you have plenty of spare parts for your uh, for your units such as valves and and bends and fittings uh, in case anything breaks. The reason we chose granular ferric oxide was because the 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 spent media is landfillable. It would pass the T-CLEP test and and then it could go to any landfill uh, to be disposed of. Um, the costs were by far uh, lower than than any of the other best available technologies and um, the ease of operation uh, our plant uh, is totally automated and uh, takes very little maintenance. The arsenic that we're getting in uh, is in the form of of arsenite and we need to convert it to arsenate which we do with chlorine and uh, it makes it a lot more treatable. There is one chlorine injection point at the beginning of the plant and that serves to oxidize the arsenite to arsenate and, uh, and to disinfect. At a pressure of 30 PSI, the pre-chlorinated water passes through two large tanks of granular ferric oxide in series. When demand is high, the third tank of media is also engaged in parallel with the other two tanks. Valves among the tanks are all operated manually for maximum flexibility. The treated water flows to the clear well, which is vented to the outside because the water contains a low but measurable level of radon gas. At a signal from the hillside storage tank, two booster pumps pump from the clear well to the storage tank. The operators backwash the pressure vessels monthly, whether they've been online or not. The backwash inhibits the growth of iron bacteria in the media. Backwashed water goes to the sanitary sewer. The finished water must be tested quarterly for arsenic, but the operators also test the water at various points in the process every month using a simple arsenic test kit. This allows them to gauge treatment effectiveness and track the arsenic saturation in the media. Um, the one cost that we knew we were going to have to, uh, to keep money for was to replace the media. And we have gone through six full seasons on, on, our, on our media and we're now at the point where we need to replace the media in two of our vessels. Yeah, for the two vessels, it's uh, roughly $115,000. Uh, we were very fortunate. Uh, we got an $825,000 grant from the uh, Army Corps of Engineers. We got a $500,000 grant from the Treasure State Endowment Program. We got a $100,000 grant from the DNRC. Uh, we used $120,000 of our own reserves and we borrowed uh, $500,000 in low interest loans from the state revolving fund to, uh, to build this plant. Uh, the best advice that I could give is to find a good engineer first and foremost and uh, preferably one that is a grant writer also. Um, uh, yeah, our plant costs over two million dollars to build. The thing I've found over the years is that 
providing you keep your customers informed on what's going on with your utility, they tend to not complain when you have to raise the rates. When we realized that we were going to have to build this arsenic treatment plant, we started sending out informational mailers letting our customers know what was coming on the horizon. And uh, as a result, we didn't have any, any problems. The data for, uh, you know, as far as arsenic being a health issue, is pretty rock solid and uh, there's been a lot of studies done on, on isolated communities and uh, it's, it's pretty well proven that it's, it's a cancer causer. At the former regulation of 50 parts per billion over the lifetime, a person's lifetime uh, we would have had several cancer deaths uh, in a town the size of Gardner.